Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back. Um, welcome back to Sam and Max. Beyond Time and Space. It's the second season. I'm back again. I streamed a bit earlier in the week, if you missed that. Uh, I started up on, on um, uh, Ice Station Santa, the first episode, and we're going to be continuing on to the second episode today, but hi! How are you all? Welcome. Uh, welcome back. How have you been in the past few days? It's, it's baby Jimmy Hopper time! <laughs> That's absolutely right, Captain Eli. Welcome to the stream. Um, and welcome everyone else, of course. This is, uh, I, now, <clears throat> so... The thing about this episode that we're playing is it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite episode. But I'm still excited to replay it maybe because maybe I've changed my mind since then. Um, either way, it's Sam and Max. It, it's still great. And I think the reason I maybe didn't like this one uh, to begin with was uh, one of the mini games that I got stuck on uh, when I was younger. Uh, but now I, I think I can get it just fine. Um, just finished a big assignment for uni, so you're de-stressing. Nice. That is always a good feeling. Uh, and is this young Sam Max time? Yes. Yes, because the Fountain of Youth is in this episode. Um, so yeah, you get to see baby Sam and Max, uh, who end up uh, appearing later on as well. Um, still better than Simon. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Remember how when the game first uh, came out, the, the game type streaming service had a beta version with a puzzle that was cut from the final game? I, I actually did not know that what was the puzzle i because the version i i played um i mean i played i played these games around 2010 i think um so i i think i must have that wouldn't have been on the version the steam version i played back then um yeah i've not heard that before the worst sound max episode are still better than many adventure games yep that's true that is true i forget what it was we had to get something from the babies it was some sort of buggy mini game huh I wonder if they've not restored it at all, have they? It's quite, I mean, I feel like it's entirely possible, but uh, I, I doubt they have. <clears throat> In the published version, the uh, gifts gives it to you. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is it like the... Um, I can't remember. Do you get the tray? I don't know. What do I think about the upcoming Telltale game? I mean... It's got Telltale's name on it. I'm not sure if I'm really interested. I've never... I don't know anything about The Expanse. Um, so, I don't know. Oh! I just remembered something that was in this episode, and I'm wondering if it's been updated. Uh, at the very least, in, in the original version of... Um, of... Why Better Blues... Uh, hydration, I will hydrate. Thank you so much, Maxwell. In the original version, there, there was, like, hidden stuff, like, st stuff that's got lost on, on the island that you go to. That's, like, the whole idea is, is stuff gets pulled through the B Bermuda Triangle and it winds up on this island. And among those is, uh, is, is Duke Nukem Forever. Because as of 2000, uh, 2007... Uh, Duke Nukem Forever had not come out and did not have any sign of coming out. Uh, so, I'm wondering if they've changed that. Because, obviously, it, it, in the four years since it released, um, Duke Nukem Forever has indeed manifested. Um, 2011. So, I, I have to wonder... I have to wonder if they've updated that. Maybe it's like Half-Life 3 now or something. Who knows? Because um, I'm sure they would have thought about that at least. Maybe they thought, we'll just keep it the same to keep it, you know, the, the, you know, the same time frame. Um, or maybe they'll, they'll, they probably didn't change. I mean, it, it, I don't think it affected any lines. I think it was just a box that said DNF on it. It was implied to be Duke Nukem Forever. Um... They could easily change the uh, the box to say something else. So, that's what I'm wondering. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Because uh, we'll find out when we actually play, won't we? Uh, this isn't a podcast. <laughs> let's wait for it to appear. There it is. Um... 
Ah, good to be back. Right. Moai Better Blues. It's less the specific franchise and more the fact that the new Telltale aren't really the same as the old one. I mean, that's true. To me, Skunk Ape are more the Telltale that I know and love um, compared to the new stuff. Anyway. This looks moody. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Ah! Ooh. What the hell was that all about? Hmm. Unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. <laughs> this is so nonplussed about it. <laughs> also, I just noticed the... Uh... Oh. This is new. This is a new song. Yeah, definitely. I've not. Heard. This is definitely Christmas song. saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. Oh, he's not dead. Just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. <laughs> Hold on. And what's the worst news? Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. This <laughs> is it. This is a ridiculous. Uh, some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional. Ridiculous, in, like beginning. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the pigeon foot is great. Also, I think there's definitely. Have they zoomed the camera back or was it always this far out? I think it might well, actually. Well, we've always Jimmy been that far out. Teeth. We were wondering where you'd scampered off to. What are you doing just standing there? Stop that thing! It already sucked up Big Otis and T Bone. I don't think, uh. I don't think you see them in that this episode. What happened to, uh. What happened to those two? I think we gotta to talk to Bosco about this. I know how I know how, how to uh Hey Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? Well, I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. <laughs> oh, well what you got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Uh, wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? <laughs> Sometimes they just like to wander. <laughs> unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. Who summoned the Triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. Of course. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the Triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming. Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... <laughs> Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. <laughs> Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys. They're coming for us. I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids and a Y2K scare. Oh my god. <laughs> How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them, if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the triangle? Well, they're very attracted to symbols and sigils. Hmm. And Sybils, apparently. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those two. They're not real picky. 
They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. We'd like to buy, We'd some. Like to buy something. I told you fools last time. The store's closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. You can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. <laughs> Don't you see? The end is nigh. Nigh? Yes, nigh. Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Oh, yes, the radio Don't transmissions. Don't you see? It's T H E M. They're coming. I have to relocate before it's too late. I'm I'm okay with his uh, performance now. Definitely, it definitely took a moment to get used to, and it, I uh, I didn't know he'd actually re-recorded his first two episodes. Um, <clears throat> but who knows? I may go back to them at some point to have a look. <laughs> I need to see, I need to see what I think of uh, it, uh, but I, currently, yeah, I think it's good. I mean, I think I, I mean it's it's a it's a different interpretation, but it's one that I'm fine with. So, where are you planning to go? Oh, uh huh. You'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is? No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic, and the grasshoppers too, come to think of it. Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always. I love uh, that the um, <laughs> the magazines are called Max Impeachment Weekly. Max Impeachment Weekly, volumes 14, 15, and 16. Volume 17 comes out next week! <laughs> yes, he's still the president. What are you listening to? D don't touch that! That's my only contact with T-H-E-M. Oh yes, the the radio is important in this episode. Um, I think it's this episode. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is this episode. Um, but anyway, Bosco gave us a solution to the to the puzzle. It responds to um, to shapes. Actually, tell you what, let's have, let's go back to the office and see what we've. Uh, There's uh, some stuff that's been added to the office. The uh, Torture Me Elmer. Well, there's nothing we can do to Torture Me Elmer that hasn't been done to him already. Yeah, we were pretty thorough last night. Hi, Max. It's Max from the future. I've come back to warn you. Don't forget the 12 monkeys. Also, tell Sam I said hi. What was that about? I'm making 12 monkey chili. And do you usually forget to add the monkeys? No, I just forget to peel them. Oh. Hey, it's the North Pole. We've moved We're the... We're borrowing uh... this from Santa's workshop until he gets back. Hmm. When do you think he'll get out of hell? Probably right after it freezes over. That actually seems about right. <laughs> uh, Pox Bay. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Alright, well, there's nothing we need here, I, I don't think. Yes, uh, I know the solution, Frank, don't worry. I'm just having a little explore beforehand. Oh, the window's closed. I don't think I've ever seen that window closed before. The neighborhood's held up pretty well, what with all the Bermuda Triangles and robot attacks lately. Just wait until the 80-foot-tall Lagomorph stomps it flat. You're still taking those growth supplements? Can't you tell? <laughs> That's an interesting bit of uh, foreshadowing. I think it's like the, the second reference uh, to Max being huge and destroying a city in this Whee! season. I never noticed that before. Ah, it's the cops. See, I know I need to go into Stinky's Diner to solve this, which is why I'm exploring everything else before and to see if there's any unique dialogue. Cops. How's the auto body business? Hello, we're working on. <coughs> Hello, we're working on the most. <coughs> Please calm down, lady! 
<laughs> We're sorry, we cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Stinkies then. Oh, damn it. Stupid spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. Mm. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hiya, Stinky. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa, Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! <laughs> oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. <laughs> Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired, went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling and water. And the world! <laughs> yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I didn't even know he's here. I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse collect calls. What is it with you guys? <laughs> a rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular, interdimensional portals. All right, of course. Some expert. Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. <laughs> we meant more short term, but thanks. <laughs> What's the special today? It's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. Hmm. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, Crunchy. I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. Mmm, delicious granite sandwich. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. Ah, yes. <laughs> Give Max the kids Max special. would like the kids special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. <laughs> hey, I don't make the rules. We want the green salad, extra smoky, with a side of cracked nuts. Sal, the Jack Nicholson with Dennis Hopper and Gary Busey. <laughs> Are we doing this again? Could we have the grilled cheese with Tabasco and a side of curly fries? Mm, that good. Sal, I need Diane Sawyer with the flamethrower hopped up on goofballs. Ooh, so do I. <laughs> we want the green salad, extra smoky. This is a good a bit. I don't know. I just, I just Sal, like it. The Jack oh, we already, with Dennis Hopper. We already got that one. Okay. We need we two like options the soft boiled eggs on waffles with coffee, extra cream. Mm. Sal, get me Scooter Libby on a glockenspiel with Mike Tyson singing alto. I'll have the deep fried devil dogs with a diet drink, and Max will have the salad plate with extra blue cheese. Sal, half a Jack Black with a supersized Kira Knightley in deep denial. All right. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Bye, Stinky. Yeah, this is definitely the D you have of the season. And now we have a granite sandwich. I think that's the symbol for the other sandwich. Scandalous. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would you? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. Okay. He's keeping an eye on Bosco. That'll be important later. Also, hey, a stop sign. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Wow. That gong's gonna be important. 
Wait, Max, Max changes the music? I did not know he could do that in this in this uh, remaster. That's that's cute, huh? And he changed it to World of Max, of course. It's <laughs> great. That is actually a really cute detail. Love that. All right. So. If you remembered what uh, Bosco said, um, he said that if you throw a, a red octagon into the triangle, it stops. And hey, look, it's a stop sign. So let's just, uh, here we go. Swoosh. Ah! Oh, oh, it stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My, whoa. What's happening? I regret nothing. <laughs> Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling. I'll save you. As I was saying, there's another <laughs> case solved, and with minimal casualties. <laughs> what do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam. God, I hope not. Not yet. <laughs> Actually, the other way around. Ah, why better blues? Oh, we gotta get ready for the to shoot. Yeah, the new music in the triangle chase is uh, is unusual. I like it. Okay, there should be another symbol here now, which I believe is the friendly demon song. There it is. Dolores Karloff. <laughs> I think I noticed that last time. This uh, intro hasn't changed too much, but this bit's definitely new. I do love that. Maximum Sam. More tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help. It's very bloomy. Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. I am enjoying it so far, yeah, but I've, I've just started this Rapa episode. Nui. Rapa Nui, the crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, uh, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Oh, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient oh, no. prophecies can only mean two things. <laughs> tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. Damn it. Hmm. What exactly does this prophecy say is going prophecy. to happen? The carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then a terrible cataclysm. The great volcano god Rana Kao would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. <laughs> what do you want us to do? You must stop Ronakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave. I don't think they always the had pupils like that, no. The ancient well, I might be wrong. Means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? 
If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, oh and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. <laughs> Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. Keep a... Keep a... Think about the fact that they're basalt brownies. Think about what else goes into brownies. And then you have an understanding of what effect basalt has on these heads. Just keep that in mind. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks, who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? <laughs> At least. What Paris Hilton is hey, for the Gossip Hey, Thank you so much ancient for coming along the apocalypse. and gifting two subs out. Nice to see you. Gonna tub, sub to Yeet the Cheese and the Average Tedzy. Fair enough. Who are you guys, anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Much appreciated. Well, I used Mulligal. to control That's the wind. another five. Now there's not much point to it. Oh, five to Evil Troy, uh, Shatnessa, Blessing, Big B, and Jess. One, four, zero, two, or two. Huh. Two or two. That is the, uh, what this episode of Some Items referred to as. Sound Max 202. How about that? Uh, but yes, thank you, thank you so much, Mulligal. It's so kind of you. Seven, seven, seven whole subs. We barely even started. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Where is this ancient, hidden, underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, <laughs> he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril? No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the 300 bits, Mulligal. My goodness. You, you are feeling very generous today, and I appreciate it. Wow. Bit of a demi dinner. <laughs> What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. Wow. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. <laughs> I'm just the way the carvers made me. Wow. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh, yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. Well, then. Here we go. Um... What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. This music's different. They've updated the music for this area. 
It used to kind of just be like a drum beat. But they've actually added like a, a melody here, which is interesting. Let's see. I'm trying to see if the DNF box is Look still at all around. this junk that's been sucked it might, into Actually, it might be in the lower area. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the 20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Anything else in that? Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still two tibias shy of a complete set. <laughs> hmm. Leonardo da Vinci's sketches of a cold fusion reactor. Wow. A fully playable beta of <laughs> Salmon Max Freelance Police. <laughs> the cancelled Salmon Max game. A cure for polo. I think you mean polio. And what's so bad about polio? <laughs> Nothing but junk. All right. That's all that's in there. But there's more, there's more below. Ah, oh, look, it's the Fountain of Youth. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! Piranhas. I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything! <laughs> There's all these gongs about. These are important. Um, SS Minnow. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. Wow. Harsh. Can we talk to this boy ahead? Why the long face? It's just that we've been here for so long, and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence, and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have a Oh, my goodness. Cool. Molecule. Thank you. Oh, totally not Molecule. Thank you for... Thank you for that donation there. I uh, I don't have the stream left thing up to read what you what you wrote. It was, I think something about Mr. Knight and his hair. Um, but you are very kind. Thank you so much. Do you believe in all this prophecy of destruction, Mumbo Jumbo? Of course I do. I can feel Rana Cow's anger rumbling even now. Me too, Sam. I think those tamales from Stinkies are repeating on me. Ah, scatological humor. Very classy. I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. Ah, yes, that's, uh... Mosley's line. <laughs> Good reference. Cheer up, pal. It does fit so the, the, your the is coming music, to a yeah. fiery, cataclysmic end. Don't sweat it. I'm glad you can joke about the end of our civilization. I don't find it particularly funny. Lighten up, buddy. We're just trying to entertain the good people. Yeah, if you just smile, it'd draw attention away from your prominent brow ridge. So you're back to making fun of my appearance, hmm? Very original. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh! Tough Island. Damn. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Is that supposed to be funny? This guy is uh, definitely a bit oh, of a self. Sam and Max, freelance police. What do you do? I'm the guardian of the stars. What was that? I can't understand you. I said I'm the guardian of the stars. Still can't understand you. Speak a little more clearly. I said. <laughs> That'll be relevant at some point. Let's go into here. The ancient hidden underground cave. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You Jimmy can't Hoffa. be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. <laughs> also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby. Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? 
That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the Fountain of Youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his Fountain of Youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Wow. Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. He's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. <laughs> How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. We're All going bye-bye right. now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the middle <laughs> of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Uh, I love um, <laughs> Max's reaction. <laughs> Ah, yes. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Woo! Spring break! Woo! Pipe down, Chucklehead. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorphs Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. You didn't always have hair. That's different. Uh, I believe uh, Amelia Hart, DB Cooper, and I, I don't know who that is actually. I can't remember. But that's um, Ben Miller. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Ah. Charles Lindbergh Jr. Charles Lindbergh Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! Ellen, what gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. Wow. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. Once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. <laughs> well, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? 
It now was we need to reuse the models. Planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. <clears throat> what do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the height limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half. Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia. See you around, kids. All right. Let's uh, talk to Baby Glenn Miller then. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. I I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. You're a missing person. We thought you were dead. I was like, I think the same, the same voices that they had before they before drank the. I believed I wasn't really fountain. dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. How'd you end up here? I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head <clears throat> and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. Why didn't you ever go back home? I can't go back now without a big comeback hit. It, it'd be anticlimactic. What do you need help with? Well, I, I'm trying to find just that, that perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well, gee, thanks. But I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and, and fresh. But I'm stuck on on two things. Mm. I need a catchy melody, and I need a good train sound. Ah. Melody and a train sound. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? Well, you bet. I'm pulling Try out all the stuff. offering people the granite sandwich? This good song's idea. gonna be about all the things the kids are into these days. Trains and sock hops, swing dancing, methamphetamines. But how are we going to find a new melody? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh Baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. What's Benny Goodman like in person? Well, Benny could do things with a clarinet that nobody else could. Well, thank God, hey, uh, one night after a show in New York, well, well, I'll just tell you, it was the damnedest thing I ever saw, and, and leave it at that. You know, there's a lady present. Oh, was Count Basie really a vampire? A golem, actually, but we never held that against him. Those were simpler times. Keep on rocking, Clark. I don't understand those references myself. Word. Hey, I have a granite sandwich. No, the hunger will improve his art. No, they look like they're still eating soft food. What about you, Max? You want this? Nope. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a bunch of babies who used to be adults, but uh, drank from the fountain of youth. Um, I think we need to start with this episode. Want a delicious sandwich? I can't. I'm going swimming later. Oh. Want a delicious sandwich? No thanks, Sam. What about you? <laughs> More I hide underground. Want a delicious sandwich? Oh, good. Open your mouth! Oh, right, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I think one of the things we need to do is get, uh, get the music going, because I remember how we get the storm cloud to do something interesting. Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. You know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite sandwich? That's the best you can do? Apparently your taste in cuisine is as refined as your sense of humor. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm ready to chisel this guy a new one. Oh, Lincoln. Yeah. Okay. Um. For now, let's, uh. Hmm. Don't we need to. 
think there's something. I, this is probably the episode I've honestly played the least out of like most of the Max episodes. So I, it's taking a while for me to. Seriously, champ, we have to get into that cave. Beat it. I'm trying to see if there's anything else he has to say. No, bye I don't bye think so. Now. Okay. So I know one thing that we can do. Um, is like play with the gongs, um, but I don't can't think of anything we need to do that way yet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, it's back to City Street Santa. Yeah, you can just hop through, uh, hop through the portal again and be back here. Now we talked to the cops actually because we couldn't talk to them Howdy before. Cops. Anything new in the auto body business? <clears throat> Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Naturally. Make that dream a reality with our brand new car horn. Ah uh, yes. The melody. The melody. Okay, that's what we get from these guys. Maestro. One FD, I want one. All right, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Tonight! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta right. testers of our new augmented Next driving minigame. Do you guys know anything about Easter Island? Accessing Ellipsis Easter Island <laughs> Ellipsis. was founded in 1914 by former members of the ATS progressive rock band Asia. ATS. Located off the southwest coast of your mom, the island is considered by many to be the birthplace of television personality Ryan Seacrest, as well as American jazz music. I see you're still doing all your research on the internet. Information wants to be wrong! Do you know anything about missing persons? Have you tried looking on Easter Island? Most end up there. That's fair. How do you stop a rampaging volcano god? I love that joke. Get me every time! How things been in the neighborhood? Noisy! There has been a dramatic increase in folk instrument related automobile accidents. Yeah, there is a reason oh, for that. Right. The 10,000 man Scottish polka marches in town this week. My favorite time of year. The streets are filled with accordions and bagpipes stacked like so much cordwood. We hate bagpipes! We want to pimp our car. to pimp out our car. We want some 18-inch Blitz Type 4s, a 6-valve PTX chrome intake, double-injected Gunther regulators on the back 10, and some neon on the undertow that flashes Morse code saying, Check it out, biatch! <laughs> All we have is the car horn. Sweet! <laughs> the Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. All right, tell us about the game. about this new game you're working on. That is correct. It will revolutionize Did the entire sibbles? industry. Uh, a robot a moved sibbles, possibly. Boom! We are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout Banjo the Legend. area. <laughs> and I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers oh my never God. intended. Does not Forbidden compute. Dance you Insurrection. You're saying that music video games already exist? Failure! Referencing uh, Guitar Hero and uh, Dance Dance Revolution there. <laughs> my How goodness. How do we play this game of yours? In a world. Folk music instruments litter the mean streets. Your mission is clear. Destroy all the bagpipes. Bagpipe obliteration ultimate! Let's do it. Don't we have to destroy the bagpipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack? That's way too complicated! <laughs> Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. <laughs> Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive uh. new car horn! We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? I love these characters so much. Let's do it. <laughs> they have so many great lines. Alright. Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicar Music Challenge. 
Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Let's do it. Bring the noise. Ready? Go. Here we go. Oh yeah. These ones are relatively easy. Let's finish it off. Applause, please. You are a winner. I like the little effects on the windows as you're leaving, actually. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, we... you've won the exclusive Pimp the Car Audio Enhancement Also, oh, yes, you can still get decals. I made your friends! Be sure to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. So if you look here on the decals for us, because they've added this as a new thing for the remaster, you can see what you can get. Um, I think it's an air balloon. I think it's a safe. Maybe a sign. Uh, is that a donut? Either way, there's five more things we can get. So, putting the AR in car. Go <laughs> hey, hey, go get them. What's new? Who is overrated? We'd like some of those decorative decals. Simply destroy rare objects on the road, and if we deem them worthy, we Just shall award you my a Max save the world. decal. Free of charge. Well, uh, I'm here. Yeah, my my streams are kind of going to be a little bit off model uh, at the this month, um, and then I'll be settling more into sort of a regular schedule in January. Uh, I have like a whole bunch of random streams planned like this month. Uh, just check my schedule on on Twitch; you can see what I've got going on. Um, and I've got a couple more to add on to there, just depending on who, availability and stuff. So, yeah. we'd like to play your game again. Obliterate the bagpipes to win fabulous prizes. With my driving skills and your dead weight, we're going to have the most tricked out car in the neighborhood. I just like to win things. <laughs> you have notification, guess you didn't see it. It happens that way, don't worry about it. And only the bagpipes. I will take it personally. <laughs> go! All right. This is a uh, different song. What song is this? Focus on right now. That's why I'm not talking too much. Just making sure I'm avoiding those accordions. <laughs> Stop playing Megalovania. Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Ah, oh, there's. Ah, oh, I could have gotten that. Damn it. All right. Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go. This is the main theme for the season. Might be. Yeah. What's this one? Oh, this is the office theme. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you just earned a free decal. I missed one, but I got a decal. Oh, damn it. Oh my 
goodness. Yeah, it's definitely the office theme. And then you go up the ramp. You can actually do like a, uh, like a flip. Oops. I'll show you when I, uh, when I'm going for like random decals. Actually, because I'm not near any of them while I'm getting the bagpipes, unfortunately. I think you have to use the ramp for like uh, to get some things. Oops. Oh god. Oof. Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Oh, that's at the safe. Okay. Go! This is World of Max. Oh, it's getting harder, this. More accordions now, which is making it tougher. Ooh. Congratulations, you are a winner. How many have we got? Would Three? you like to try again? Sure. Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Let's try and see if we can get Ready? all of the. Uh... Okay, this is the last one. Let's see. If we... Uh. 3D cal awarded. I think there's a. We've gotten four. We want to wait for uh, a hot air balloon, I think. I think that's the last thing we need. Do I get like a? Blimp was the first episode. There's a hot air balloon or something in this one. I have to wait for it to show up, I guess. I can go over the ramp at this point now, I think. There you go, that's what happens when you go on a ramp. <laughs> I still won. Would you like to try again? Uh, yeah, I I wanna. Yes. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes. I wanna get the last thing. The oh. Ready? Go. Uh, what am I missing? Is it a hot air balloon? I can't remember. Or do I have everything? No, I don't think I do. I can, I can do that, can't would I? You like to quit the that would be, that would probably be better. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, forgot I could do that. That was always in it, wasn't it? All right, yeah, we can just do this now. We don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about the bagpipe noises. Trying <laughs> to see what is what is shootable. Have they made it so you can't shoot as fast as this one? I'm pretty sure you can like rapid spam it if you. Re oh, there it is. Decal for you. Ah, uh, it used to be like a Telltale logo on it, but now it's a Skunk Ape logo. 
All right, I think that's everything. There we go. <clears throat> oh no, but Missy, we are missing one. Oh no. Hold on, what are we missing? Hmm. Looks like a sign. Wow, he shows the old old balloon there, actually. That's funny. All right. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, let's just drive around. Nowhere in particular. Let's just drive. We're gonna have so many decals by the end of the uh. The game should just auto it when you get them all. Right. All right. So what is it? Is it a sign? Kind of look like a text. Should be a sign. Hmm. You have to like ramp up into a sign or something? Maybe it'll show up at some point. Just wait for it to, to appear and then we'll go for it. Because I do not remember what it is at all. Okay, so this is the episode I know the least. Um, I vaguely remember some of this stuff, but not everything. Where is it? In the mini game in the next episode, it's like, uh, like a sort of, what's that game called where you play as like a, you're delivering newspapers? It's kind of like that. Fail cards for all the you get eventually. All right, yeah. Paper man or paper boy is it? It's there. It's, it's there. I think it's the game. Something along those lines. Oh, I shot something. Hmm. Is this definitely thing we have to destroy? Or is it... We did the driving minigame just fine, didn't we? We got all the ones from the actual mini game. It's just like a hidden object we need to find here because we can get that last decal. I want that achievement, damn it! I ain't giving up on this. Wait, does that highlight? Highlights green sometimes. What does that mean? Does that mean it's something I can specifically shoot? Uh, I think the decals themselves. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had a look. It looked like a sign, but I wasn't sure what it was. I may need to go back and have a look and try and figure it out. Also, take care, Chewy. Nice to see you. Let's have a look and see if I can spot it. Look like a UFO? I don't remember a UFO, honestly. Uh, and that would probably turn up in the sky anyway. Oh, whoa. I thought you can go faster. Let's go full speed. Oh, God. Yeah, you can look it up if you want. I just can't remember what it is. And I don't, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Got it, Grandpa. <laughs> this is fast. What if I'm going so fast I, I miss it completely? That's worth a decal. I found it. <laughs> I just went full speed ahead and I didn't even see it. Alright. Congratulations, you've earned every decal currently in stock. You rock! You win the big honking mystery prize. Hey. Thanks, guys. You make the best completely worthless upgrades around. Is it me or have not all of Sam's lines been restored with, like, uh, audio-wise? I noticed that a little bit in the last episode, but some of them sound a little bit, like, lower quality. Like, the exact same as how they did in the original. 
uh, where most of the other lines have been like kind of uh, spruced up. Maybe not all of them were available for this season. Yeah. So yeah, that's everything. That's everything for episode two. All right. So what are we working on? We've got a tune. We need a train whistle. That's what we're after, isn't it? Hey, Stinky. What? Oh. We'll need to mess with this gong at some point. I think we can shoot it if we want. Satisfying. That'll be important. But, uh, not yet. Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Samo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame, with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. Okay, Mr. Mr. Paper. I'll let you do your thing. I'm trying to think where the train whistles. I don't... I do not remember this episode very well. Um... Oh, no, yes, I remember it. I remember it. I think. Whee! Tiki glass, that's what we need. I remember now, you need to like uh, boil some water. Should I look at these? Let's water. See what Ingredients artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water. The pacifier. Ingredients kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. The diaper rash. Ingredients, bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. Ooh. All right. Well, all you really need to do here for the, um, for the train whistle is to... It's because kettles... The uh, not intense enough to boil the water. More fire! More fire! Oh, yes. But, yeah, you need to... Essentially, uh, boil the uh, boil the kettle um, in order to uh, make the noise. Because stove top kettles or kettles that you heat up like, manually, they have like a whistle to let you know when it's done, basically. Pardon me, boys. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound I need for <clears throat> my big hit. Well, that's nothing now, yet. I'm just stuck on the melody. Help me with that, would you? Oh, I got something for you. Don't you worry, baby Glenn Miller. It's this. Hey, Glenn, listen to this action. That's, that's fantastic. Is the whistle intentional? Ooh, I believe it's intentional, Bring yeah. Bring with you so I can work with him full time. It's, I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, I think that's how, that's how stuff that's like kettles are meant to work. melody for my new hit. Let's get started. I've always wanted a stuffed up kettle, actually. History, boys. There's a demo on that conch shell. This is going to be huge. Are we going to get a producer credit? Talk to my agent. Wow. Uh, so yeah, you can listen to this now. So yeah. Uh, and I remember exactly how to use that. These babies are very impressed. Well, they are babies. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so what we need to do... Okay. to do here. There's a, there's a couple of blue ones here. It's yellow. Huh. Like I know, I, I, I think I remember what to do. It's just, uh... The other one there. I mean, what happens with the when you interact with these? Check this out, Max. Oh right, you come out. Okay. I thought it only corresponded with the same color. Right. Yeah, I get it now. Whee! I remember now. Okay. So first of all. We need this one. Um, they've made it like uh, like the the poles. Or maybe it was always like this. I don't know. I, it was probably always like this. Like I keep saying, this episode is not the freshest in my memory. Yeah, I don't know if they should have redone I'm Amelia Earhart. Okay. Don't give full me price hints. For movies. I know what I'm doing. Hmm, this isn't bad. It's got a good beat. You gotta make a whistle. Without the train sound, but the rest, it's downright toe tapping. All right. What is that enchanting whistling sound? Abe, are you even listening to me? Okay, uh, ba 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 ba. What we need to do is. Oh. Ah, uh, I don't know if we're going to have time for this. Ah, okay. That, I think that first time is a bit difficult because of the little cutscene that happens, but, uh... But, what, yeah, what you need to do is... Well, you'll see, you'll see. It's a little bit of a, uh, a portal puzzle. Have I missed out the missed the order of this puzzle? You don't need to use the portals. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let's just get it set up because I think that user tripped me up in the when I played it years ago as well. I'm making the same mistakes as I did back then. Okay, so we just need these two portals. Have another listen to this new hit. And then you just gotta upset this Moai head. You'd probably make more friends if you'd just enunciate more clearly. Because then that blows the portal through there, which fries the fish. Uh, thank you, thank you, Omega. Hmm. That, that Anybody have any malt vinegar? Completely, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Oh, now we can uh, get into that fountain of youth. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's drink up. Drink it all, little buddy. All the good youth is at the bottom. Well, did it work? 
I guess so. I think your music sucks and I want to stay out all night. You already do that, Chowderhead. Now let's hurry up before our voices start changing. All right, so now you can be, uh, <laughs> look at them. Look, at so tiny. <laughs> Whee! Um, we need this to get the kids menu from Stinkies. Um, oh, however, though, in order to do that, hold on. This <laughs> sprinting animation is baby Sam is so funny. Bang, you're dead. No take take backs. backs. Nothing doing. Hmm. What are you guys doing? Were you kissing? Ew! Sybil and Lincoln sitting on the sand. Sucking face because he ain't got hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, Abe, what do you say we never ever have children? <laughs> Aww. These little running animations are so cute. I'm trying to... Hmm. Wouldn't you have to be like... Uh... Let's try hopping through. I think it automatically changes. Uh... Or at least it will in a moment. Oh. What happened, Sam? I feel a sudden urge to vote Republican. <laughs> We're not as young as we used to be, Max. The fountain's effects wore off quickly. Max, you're literally the president. Um, of an independent party as well. Yeah, what we need to do um, is get the uh, this portal essentially in the diner. Yeah, because. Uh, First of all, we need to... I'm just checking what we can do, oh, but yeah. Oh, Abe, isn't it beautiful? With that gentle breeze and that melody in the air. Oh. Mm. Abe? Ever since those heads yes, started talking, go. you haven't heard one word I've said. Right. What? Oh, I mean, did they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation... Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not! I will long remember what you said here. And I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this. And on my birthday. Did somebody say birthday? Oh, no. Ole! And again, I forget to bring my video camera. So that was a moment. <laughs> a lot to deal with at once. Things didn't go so well with Sybil, huh? Eh, she was cramping my style anyway. So, Miss Moai, how are you doing? Get bent, beardy. Fair enough. What he deserves. Don't you think it's amazing that you found that picnic basket full of food? I've got more important things to worry about. I think we can talk to Sybil now, can't we? I think she's gone off back home. Oh no, it's still closed. Is she in the diner? Hey, stinky. I don't what? think he's in the diner. Oh. Just, uh, just Flint Paper in here doing his thing. Yeah. God. Having to remember this one. I think I've only ever beaten this episode once or twice, so. She's 
gone for the rest of the episode? Really? Okay. Oh yeah, because she's doing the, uh, the, the, um, the dating thing in, uh, episode three, isn't she? Yeah. Okay. See, what I remember now is I need to do something, uh, riding the surfboard. Whee! Maybe I should just interact with the surfboard. I should probably do that. You could do the surfboard mini game, and then you can. Yeah. You know. But hey, you, need, you need to do it with like your, I all those the thing on your head. Back in school. No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. <laughs> Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles. Yeah. Hang six, Moon Doggy. Ride it. No way. Watch out for flying bottles. Radical. Oh, I touched that one. Oh, yeah, this mini game's tough. You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. But I think true surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons either. I'm pretty sure you lost. I remember struggling with that. Should try off a half of a drink. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I just remembered what you do to Jimmy Hopper! <laughs> oh no! You have drugged my memory and it's horrifying! Oh, and then he, yeah, he, uh, he gives you like a stipulation first, doesn't he? No, 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 don't sit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> to youth. That was the wrong, uh. Didn't mean to click myself. Oh, he's got a different shirt. Huh. I guess he have a, has a random shirt each time now. I just go into here and get it reset. <laughs> Reject humanity, become baby. And yeah, Jimmy offers a baby. Don't question it. Sound Max. Absolutely right. All right, there we go. Okay. Now you got to get Jimmy Hoffer a drink. Um, of the Fountain of Youth water, which is uh, it's a very distressing thing that that happens to him. But yeah, I think I think he asked you to do something first before he accepts a drink off you. Let me get out of the way this time, so I don't click on myself again. There we go. Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union staff. Do you want it in your shippy cap? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the waitresses' union. How do we get into the waitresses' union? Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when mm -hmm. I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Now that's an odd feeling. Hey, what gives? The fountain of youth water is gone. Have you been sneaking into my inventory again, Max? Don't blame me if you're having trouble holding your water. Stupid magic water evaporates if it gets too far away from the fountain. That's damned inconvenient. All right. All right. So now we've got to do this mini game. This mini game caused me so much pain back in the day because I just sure couldn't figure it out. Off, little pal. It's tough. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. May take a few attempts. Watch out for flying bottles. Oh god damn it. Yeah, it was it was leaning too far back. You can't let it fall off. The sun was in my eyes. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oops. You have to hold it, I think. Oh I I can get this. I just need to get the rhythm of it right. The sun was in my eyes. Hold on. Hot 
Woo wait, ride that sucker! Ride it. Oh, there you go. You rode that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it with me on your head. Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. Okay. Now we are a member of the waitresses union, I think. So, it just takes a little bit of like practice that one. It, I, that, I remember that. That was the reason I never finished this episode like, on my very first Whee! playthrough this season. It's like I got stuck in that mini game and I just couldn't figure it out. Um, although now, now I can do it. it. Just takes me a moment to get my bearings. A possible way to do the bunch of drink orders for the various babies. Hmm. They, they do bring up their drink orders. I feel like it would make sense. Um, for that to be in the game. A shame that was never restored in some way. But I guess it was. Uh, hmm. Not in the cards. How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky. I'm very thirsty. Now this give me a drink. Here. This is this is very distressing. Thank you. Hmm. This tastes familiar. I can't place exactly where. Oh wait, I remember. Sorry, Max. Wow. I know you were getting attached to the little guy, but it's for the good of the island. Attached to who? All right. Did he leave his gun? Yeah, we just deleted Jimmy Hoffa from existence. <laughs> this episode home? includes baby we're murder. Here to fix your volcano god? Interlopers! You dare violate our most sacred sanctuary! You're all in danger. The volcano's going to erupt. I don't like how their tentacles move. You threaten defeat! You must answer to our leader, the High Priest! Oh boy. Mighty Kamehameha doing donuts in a splintered paddle boat. Look, Max, it's the spectral form of Mr. Spatula. That's just our dead goldfish! Gus! Blasphemy! You anger, High Priest! <laughs> oh, mighty one! What be the punishment? Blip. High Priest has spoken! You to be executed! Now hang on! What you have say for self? You can't execute us. We're the freelance police. Killing us would bring down the wrath of legions of fans and licensors. Not to mention the ASPCA. We no like killing. Speak for self. But we must act on will of High Priest. He our only conduit to mighty feet. Think about what you're doing. You seem like a fairly reasonable group of... Uh, what are you anyway? We are the Underfoot, protectors of the sacred home of Ranakao, the Volcano God. The air breathers call us Ocean Chimps. We no like that name. Yeah, they're like a combination of like seahorses, uh, like something like an octopus or a squid and, and monkeys, so. Strange. Your high priest is a false prophet. That very serious claim to make could make us lose tax-exempt status. How you back it up? With a fillet knife and some sushi rice. <laughs> Kill them! We know that imposter is lying because Max is the true high priest. Hmm, he does have feet. Maybe Shulu's dog speaks the truth. Look, we ancient civilization that worship giant feet who speak to us through ghost fish, high priest. We're not gullible. If white one with mouth truly is high priest, he prove it by fulfilling the ancient prophecies. I bet there are three of them. He knows our ancient traditions. <laughs> Maybe he really is the chosen one. Ancients say that an outsider will be anointed by the feet. The feet will recognize him. And he will perform great miracle to feed his people. What was water becomes delicious treat. 
and the mm. island itself will show us the face of the true high priest. He appears before us in the living rock. Explain this whole anointed by the feet business. The great feet speak to us through the high priest. The outsiders stand under the great feet. They move to show. Yeah, there is a bit of a weird thing with the feet. What kind of miracle are you guys looking for? Prophecy say the high priest feed us all by turning water to banang. Banang! Banang! Banang? A delicious banana flavor drink that fortified with essential vitamins and minerals. Niacin! Riboflavin! Okay. What do you mean about the island showing his true face? Prophecy say image of true high priest will appear to us in the cavern. That prove our high priest is the one. Look! <coughs> you mean that image of Max? What? You crazy. That no look anything like Max. Max have two ears. That just a seashell. Rock next to it look exactly like high priest though. Eat miracle! All right. All that is so matched. we know what to do now. Nutshell. We believe it when we see it. We fair people. We give you until sundown. You prove white one is high priest, and we know. Yeah, by the way, someone open. I guess it's very funny. Um, we'll be back. Remember, death at sundown. Don't be late. Okay. This place looks like like it's been updated really nicely. I like the um. The sort of underwater effect. I think it, there was always an underwater effect, but uh, but yeah. Does it still have DNF on it? Crates full of video games about crates. Wow, yeah, it's still it's still a Duke Nukem Forever reference. Hmm. Let's uh, you get a closer look at that. You can see it, it is actually like a paint over of a uh, uh, Duke Nukem with crates black hair. Full of video games about crates. When it has DNE. Did Duke always have dark hair in that drawing? I don't know if he did. I, I I would assume so, though. Hmm, some interesting seaside reading. Is it piloting for imbeciles? Nope. The Desperately Lonely Traveler's Guide to Easter Island. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. It's a mind-altering substance for the Moai that helps them tune in, turn on, and drop out. Hey. Important bit of information there. Hmm, the plane's radio still seems to be working. Oh, yeah, we can do a something Hello? fun here. Hello? Is anybody out there? Oh. Is that always like that? That's an interesting little uh, clip of music there. Uh, which, if you've played the game, you know what that means. That's, uh, that's Bosco, and of course we can mess with him a little bit. Because he uh, he doesn't want to give us a, the location of his bunker, so, you know, let's just uh, let's mess with him. We are observing your Earth. What? We have come at last. Prepare to meet your doom. I knew it! Oh, I'm ready for you, suckers. You just try and find me. We heard that, Bosco. We are not amused. Duh! Can't talk. Gotta go. Oh, there you go. Just respond if you can hear me. You're listening to Get the Let Out Weekend on 107.7 KSAM. KSAM, Easter Island. <laughs> Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, 1017-2006. Tora, Tora, Tora! Ah, cripes, not again. Margie, have you seen my flight jacket? Over and out. I wonder if we can interact with this. Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, 1017. 
2006. Hmm. Tora, Tora, Tora. Over okay. and out. That's just uh So we need to uh get this uh clam to look like Max. We need to get the feet to dance and we need to get some banang. We've already done one thing to get the banang actually, so uh I'll tell you what we can do. Let's our guns don't work underwater. Oh. Reason 976 to get me that harpoon gun. Oh, that's why we need the the, the mallet thing, don't we? Is that here? Hey, it's our missing bowling ball, Lou. I'd assumed he'd gone on strike. <laughs> Comments like that are yet another reason you need to get me that harpoon gun. It's <laughs> a good thing I did that in that order. It's an incontinent sea snail. I hope that's red ink and not something else. The world beneath the sea is both wondrous and completely disgusting. Wow, we really are off course, vanished, set adrift, and disoriented. But what does it all mean, Sam? I don't feel like waiting around for years to find out. It's a reference to Lost. Um... <laughs> God. Where do you get the mallet? Like the, the little gong bopper thing. At the very least, now we can do a couple things that are interesting. It means they're all dead and in purgatory. Is that was that the twist of Lost? I never watched it. <laughs> Mallets with the babies. Yes, it is. Yes, you're right. At the very least, there's stuff we could do here. So. Bosco is gone, and we will not be seeing him. I think Bosco would mind if we helped ourselves to some banana. Good question. Another good question. One can or two? One should be plenty. <clears throat> I really hope that wasn't the twist. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, J.J. Abrams. It was J.J. Abrams, wasn't it? Is it lost? Loves his, uh, loves his mystery boxes, that guy, but... Uh, very rarely are they uh, worth it. <laughs> Hi, you stinky. What? Oh. All right. We need to make that gong red. I'm just producer. Oh, uh, okay. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, red improves digestion. Don't try to argue with feng shui, stinky. It's science. I never really expected that to work. Paranormal entities are dumb and gullible. All right. Get a load of this. Bermuda Triangle in the diner. So now what we can do is... Take a drink. That actually makes people hungry. Didn't know that. Let's go, baby Sam. Let's go. We have a basalt sandwich to get. Whee! Hello, Miss Stinky. What do you boys want? Do you have money to pay? Drop the attitude, lady. I'm the president. Max. President's adorable nephew here for a visit. Well, since I know the president personally, I guess it's okay. What's your order? Um... <laughs> double martini. A double martini with an absinthe chaser. Served on a stack of porno mags! This is a setup, right? Pretty much everything we say generally is, yes. A bowl of oyster smacks, half an orange, a poached egg, and beet juice. And I want a bowl of algae bits, because they make the milk turn green! Yeah, I don't have any of that. <laughs> we like the special. 
You're in luck, boys. I've got one already made. One basalt sandwich coming up. Hmm. Aren't you gonna cut the crust off? I've, um, misplaced my knife. You probably left it in the real Stinky's body. It's an honest mistake. <laughs> oh, that's silly, you little rascals. <laughs> now run along and play before I call child services. <laughs> Try to shoot uh, child Max. Can you even do that? Oh, you can use your gun. Bang, you're dead. No take backs. Nuh-uh, do over. <laughs> that's cute. All right. This, I think they've got the icons mixed up for the sandwiches. Come to think of it, huh? That's interesting. <laughs> we just have to wait for this to. Uh... Hey, guys, to hunt. Let's see ya. Let's get ourselves back to normal. All right, there we go. We have four sandwiches. No, we just have the one. It's a recording of the. Isn't there like an achievement to do with uh? Hold on. <clears throat> to do with the sandwiches, I remember seeing one. The achie an achievement called Sandwich Seller. Oh. I think I know how to do that. It just reminded me of season one. Let's try. Let's just try this and see what happens. Because uh, in um, season one, uh, Leonard tried to sell a. Um, if you gave the granite to everyone. Ah, damn it! Is that how it works? Nah. No. Oh. I can get a, I can get a granite sandwich back, can't I? Otherwise, I might have to do that achievement uh, in my own time. Oh, but Bosco! Hey, stinky! What? Ah! Oh, I already sent Bosco off. Yeah, I'll have to do that in my own time. Oh well. That's fine. I'll get that, uh, yeah, in my own time. That's, that's cool. Anyway, what we need to do is, uh, give it to this more head. Cheer up, buddy. Hey, look, we got you a mouth-watering basalt sandwich. Basalt? Hmm, it's been a while. What about the rabbity guy? Is he cool? More or less. All right, quick, before my carvers get back. <laughs> Oh, man, that is some kind basalt. Dude, don't bogart the sandwich. Oh, man, it's like I can taste colors. It is a weed joke, yeah. <laughs> Get a load of Cheech over here, Max. He's lit up like an arsonist birthday cake. No way, Sam. It's been like five seconds. He can't be that much of a lightweight. Oh, yeah? Watch. Sorry, sir. We just accidentally killed your puppy. <laughs> You crack me up, little dude. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, you guys want to order a pizza? <laughs> well, what if we're like all dreaming now, and <laughs> what we think is a dream is really reality? That would explain why I'm always showing up at places with no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Hello. Hi there. <laughs> that laugh is, uh... Dude. Oh, wait, what? Anyway, peace out. Later, dudes. Anyway, that has done one good thing for us. Um, we can actually get a couple of these uh, things sorted right off the map. I'm pretty sure it didn't it shake something loose. It did, yes. 
That's what we it need. It finally shook loose. I didn't inspect it before, but, uh... Here. Make sure you get my good side, Sam. You have a good side? Hey, boop. Look, over here. It's an image of the true high priest, Max. How'd that get there? Look just like him. It uncanny. That appear completely out of nowhere. Mighty feet. Show us face of true high priest. But you still not satisfy all three yeah, prophecies. I get all three. Rules very explicit on this. <laughs> Show us two more and we're convinced. Yeah, we gotta get up and uh get to Oh no, it's, it's the entrance to the lava machine. It's down here. That only used by high priest. We're in his entourage. His entourage is just me. Only I can open magic door. Our guns don't yeah. work underwater. Oh yeah, you know. I, I have, yeah, I do have everything in here. I need, I need to get the uh, the, the boppy thing though. Um, but I. Hey chimps, watch as High Priest Max performs a great miracle. Oh mighty feet, hear my command! What was once water, make flavorful drink for my people. What was once colorless, make yellow. That not impressive. What was once without sustenance, make enriched with calcium, which is something our bodies need anyway. Just get on with it, Max. Eureka! Banang! 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 Eat like a party in the moat. Eat miracle! Mighty feet grant you great power. Yeah? All but right. you're still not high priest yet. Most satisfy final prophecy. Okay. Let's get anointed. Um oh. Yeah. Right now we need to go. What if we just take all the feet? Unfortunately you can't reach. Um there is a different solution you need to do for this. Kiss them. Well, now y'all are making it weird. <laughs> Uh, I need this. If I had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Indeed you did. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day, sir. All right. I think this is nearing the end of the episode now, isn't it? Now that we've got all of this... Uh... Kind of covered. All right, so we need to set up some poles. Don't get to shoot the storm away for good luck. <laughs> All right. All right, we now have that ready to go. Do. -do, -do. I love the new shadows there. That looks great. Turn it up! Turn it up! That is pretty funny. <laughs> Poor guy. Um. So now, th now this is where uh, you use the um, the. The uh, the thing in the Moorhead's ear. That's why it's there. That sound looks great now. Okay, so now we just have to talk to these uh, these fellas. And Hello, champs. Dead dog walking. Let's. Uh, the feet shall now anoint we Max. We want to get Max anointed up. Okay, we Yuma you. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign. If you do, if, you recognize this white stranger as your servant. If you uh, haven't like uh, figured it out yet, uh, these are the, the feet of the Moai heads. Uh, so let me just 
pop this through here. Praise to the true high priest! Look, and the middle one really likes the song. Move. He must be high priest. Uh huh. That's right. Bring the love. Good to see you too, mighty feet. <laughs> Sign is clear. Mighty feet anoint you as high priest. Give blessing. Prophecies are fulfilled. Defeat have spoken. True high priest has returned. People of the feet. All shall love me and despair. No time for that now, little buddy. High priest, take rightful place on altar. Let's go. We've got to get up there and stop that volcano. So wait, we still get to kill them now, yes? No. Now we still become a cult leader. <laughs> Phony so-called high priest, what have you to say for self? Yeah, what gives, Mr. Spatula? I thought we were pals. He say pals? Ha ha ha! Then he spit derisively. <laughs> now he say, me welcome death. Better than suffer tyranny of imprisonment on stale fish flakes. I knew I should have taken him for more walks. I blame myself. I blame you too. <laughs> no, he say, you think you won, Simon Max. You really just step in trap. I send triangle to so many you here, and you stupid primitives to waste your time. We not primitive. We have cell phones. He say, now you too late to stop volcano. Fascist oppressor Simon Max get herbal tea and foot rubs once and for all. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Does this thing go any faster? No, he say. That not what I said at all. Me confused. Not herbal tea and foot robes. Rain of fire and drowning magma. I always mix those up. should have taken the express pod. Now, he say. Come, Sam and Max. Come to your doom. In my spectral form, I am invincible. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Alan. It's so funny how the villain of this episode is literally uh, the ghost of a goldfish. <laughs> now he say, my medallion, no, cannot be. <laughs> what world? What world? Take him to the sacrificial toilet bowl. Oh no. The magma's not coming though. No time, Max. We're too late to stop the volcano. What do we do? It's too late. The volcano's already going to erupt. It says, in case of emergency. Press it, Sam! Press it! I suppose now's as good a time as any. Hmm, I wonder what that did. What? Nothing more we can do here, Max. Let's go up top and check out the situation. What? I remember what to do here. Hey, I don't look. think there's much left I at all. The parking brake on that whole time. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta get the medallion, because the medallion is uh, octagonal. It's the official signet of the Ocean Chimps High Priest. Don't I get to wear it? We don't have a chain long enough to fit around your enormous head, chum. All right. And then we've got to make it red. I know I'm going a little bit ahead on this. I, I just remember what to do here. All right. I need to talk to the chimps. No time to chat now. The volcano's about to erupt. Don't forget the suck crown. How can I take that? Oh! Oh yes, of course! Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> the way it flops. 
<laughs> this is great. Bloody nosed Euclid doing the Eucharist on a nitro burning catamaran. That's the second biggest Bermuda Triangle I've ever seen. God Seems to be damn spinning it. out of control too. <laughs> well, that goes the way home. Well, there goes our only way home. I fail to see how this is helpful in an emergency. This is it. The volcano is about to explode. Bogus. Help us, Sam and Max. All right. You may be uh, already gathering what I'm, I'm doing here, so uh, uh, let's get this. And then we want to shoot this gong over here. And just remember what Bosco said: red octagon stops uh, the Bermuda triangles in their tracks. What if that lava had somewhere else to go? <laughs> there we are. I hope there's nobody on the other side of that triangle. I don't care. Huh. <laughs> you said it, dude, bro. You've done it. You've broken the prophecy. You've saved our ancient civilization from destruction. Right. So sweet thing. Now that's over with. Let's say you and I find somewhere private to get sedimentary. Oh, yeah. goodness. I think we should spend some time apart. Your loss. Can I get a ride with you guys? Our portal back home is gone. We're gonna have to swim! Do you float, Mr. Lincoln? Only one way to find out. I oh. get to ride on his <laughs> lap. You can only call that once we get in the water. <laughs> I guess we just sit here for another few thousand years. That sucks. <laughs> so that's my better blues. I think there's a tease at the end of this one, though, so uh, we'll just stick around for that. This is a slightly shorter episode, I think, this season. And honestly, it's this one's never been my favorite. It's fine. It's just... It's weaker, I think. Um, but from here on now, it's like it's all uphill. Like, the, the last three episodes of this season are just, like, non-stop hits. I think it probably was a strong bad reference, yeah. Danger-esque. Whew. Excuse me. Mm. I'm fine. I'm, I'm going to get started on... Um, get started on episode three as well. Because, I mean, it's only been two hours. Got, uh, got plenty more to get through yet. It's a good song. Um, next episode is uh, Night of the Raving Dead, um, which is it's great. I use the music from Night of the Raving Dead in like so many of my like uh, horror game videos. It's excellent. Yeah, my belt which is always the other one. I agree. It just, I, I just, I just never liked it as much as the others. It just, it just always felt like a little bit weaker. Well, here's a little tease. Post credits tease. Dude. What could it mean? Hmm. Oh, actually. Part of me kind of wants to, like, see if I can uh, grab the achievement before I start the next one. Let's see if, let's see if we can get that achievement. Um, let's go. Let's go into chapter two. I know it'll overwrite my auto save, but I've already got the achievement, so yeah. We've got the granite sandwich. Okay. Let's make sure we offer this to everybody. Want a delicious sandwich? Open your mouth. Wait. All oh, right, you can. Do you have to? Do you have to offer it to the? Uh, for the achievement, do you have to offer it to the uh, the sea chimps as well? Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. 
I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. Probably would have to, wouldn't I? That makes things complicated. Shouldn't I take a bet? Everyone on Easter Island? Oh, just everyone on Easter Island. You know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite, apparently. I have uh, I've already, uh... Did I already offer it to her? Hold on, whoops. Let's make sure I'm offering it to everybody. Want a delicious? No. You. Oh yeah, we got that. Okay. Um, we've already did it to these two before. Let's just make sure we do it again. Just the heads, babies, link, and the table. Okay, great. Want a delicious sandwich? Okay. I already did it to. Want a delicious? No thanks, Sam. Right. Now we can do the. Uh... Wait, hey, where's Sam? Look. Oh. Clues. I was gonna say, where's baby Jimmy Hoffa? My wilderness trek. What? There he is. We're going by. Sam. There he is. Don't insult me. Jimmy Hoffa don't eat nothing unless it's made by a union cook. What if we pick off the non-union parts? Nothing doing. Okay. I just get this. It looks like we've stumbled into some pipe. Skip, 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 skip. All right. It's over to you. Uh, they look like they're still eating soft food. And last of all, baby Glenn Miller gave me that achievement. <laughs> now nah, the hunger will improve his art. Hey, yeah, I got the achievement. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> you can't see the steam thing in the bottom corner, but uh, I assure you, we did get it. All right. Uh, episode three. Make sure I load up chapter five of this before going on to Night of the Raven Dead all the decals. Oh! Is that so? Alright. Let's have a look. Let's just check if we have the decals. I'll do my stretch in a moment, Ben. I just want to make sure we have them. No, they're all here. They're all here. Um. Yes. All right, a stretch before we get onto Night of the Raving Dead. Ugh. Zombie attack. Droves of undead are converging in the streets now. Sound Max must confront their leader, a Euro trash vampire with a style all his own. Are the freelance police clue enough to outsmart the emo before his flesh-eating army on usurps the Western world? Oh, stretchy. Okay. Ugh. Let's get at least a start on this. Um, I'm gonna change the, t the title of the stream. Sam and Max and the uh, Euro Trash Vampire. There we go. Okay. Let's go. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! Yep, you owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. No matter. <laughs> oh, we shall see how you make with the wisecracks after you are dead. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait! Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. I guess we just starts up right away. Um, is this my favorite Telltale game? I think the whole season is probably my favorite Telltale game. Um... As far as my favorite episode, though, my favorite episode is the fourth one of the season. And yes, the car keys on you, on uh, on his nipple ring. There's a bottle there that was from the last episode. 
is in the heretical apocrypha. Sam and Max meet a guy who sucks. <laughs> uh, it's great. Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. <laughs> a goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth. And bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. Lightning! A dog castle! Death! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Do you mind not making so much noise? <laughs> Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? <laughs> George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies. Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. Uh. One step ahead of you. I love that little sort of uh, meta direction there. Cause the hole in the wall is from here. I do love that it's shot through the hole in the wall this season. Flint's been off looking for Bosco for a while now. Hmm. Uh, what did we get from um, Easter Island then, if anything at all? I mean, we got the uh, the urn. It's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. And then we got the... Oh, yeah, we got this. And people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. That sock crown is about as useless as an ink ribbon in a haunted castle. <laughs> uh, Why'd we save this again? To snack on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <gasps> Banang! Banang. Tastes great and fun to say. Uh, the banana gag is not this episode, alas. Let's turn the light off. Let's be energy conscious. Hey, look at this. Look, Max, it's our undead vandal. And... Shall I beat him relentlessly now? No, you might damage Jesse James's hand. It's a national treasure. Jesse James must have been a big guy. His hand is huge. Go away, hooligan. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Two Teeth? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Wow. Whee! The lucky vermin. Oh, now showing Robert Goulet's hamster, Gigi. It's a regular carcass of sin. Yeah, it's good to know Jimmy's uh, found his uh, calling in life. So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? <laughs> Let's press on. <laughs> zombies attack city. So what's the bad news? <laughs> Max, look behind you. <gasps> Zombies! And Bosco's is uh, locked. It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-M we're coming. Indeed. Nice, and Sybil's is now open. Um, the decal's closed now. Nice. It's the, uh, has this version of the city street got like a kind of like a theremin bit to it because the zombies are here? Huh, that's a neat detail. Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know? 
Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S.O.L. So simple even a zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah. And this is the point where Jared Emerson Johnson had blown his voice out uh, so he couldn't play Bluster Blaster anymore. What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconveniences may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Aww. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? He had me fixed before they brought me home. Poor guy. You get this shoutiness back uh, later on, don't worry. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. Okay. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. You've unlocked a new area. What do you say that for? We do not know. <laughs> he has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart, right. Forgot it already. You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier online zombie destination. Yeah. Didn't we destroy the internet? Luckily, El Gore was able to recreate the internet from his original plan. Yeah, of course. What's on the internet that would interest a droning, glassy-eyed zombie anyway? Al Gore recreated the internet in his own image. Oh. What's so great about Stuttgart Online? It's the fun, easy-to-use online experience for zombies and zombies at heart. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. <laughs> oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. It's not really a... Uh... <laughs> hmm. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. Aww. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Yeah, Take the provided that. CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. Let's do it. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. They like wearing short pants. Would you like to <laughs> begin driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Let's do it. Oh god. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Pimpler Car Marketing Challenge. I want to shoot things. Please deliver the, the paper boy mini game. SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make mad big. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready? Go. See ya. All right. So you got to Oh yeah. Rawr. Yeah, you gotta, uh, oh. You've really gotta time these ones. Ooh. Ah. 
Um, boop. Yeah. Boop. Congratulations, you've won! I'm gonna get all the decals though. Your new super <laughs> high -powered antenna. We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winners. Not too late. I don't want to see the bright light again. Oh, Very no. well, you get to figure it out for yourself. Uh, kind of the implication of what happened to uh, to poor um, <laughs> poor Bluster Bluster there. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. All right. I was always fine with this hey, particular cops. mini game, actually. We want to throw more CDs at zombies. Thank you for helping us make SOL a middling success. We are all out of car attachments. But you can keep driving for more fun promotional decals. Let's do it. Stickers are fun. They Would are. you like to begin <laughs> driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. <laughs> I love Kurt's voice so much. Oh. Okay, 15. Ready? Go! Okay. Nah. 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 Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Oh, there was a beer kick there. You bet. Excellent. What Initiating the hell? hyphen over sequence. Okay, I got that. Ready? Go! Maybe I didn't do the decal to this episode before. I think it's clearly the, the voice of Max doing these. <laughs> William Caston. Congratulations, you've won. Easily like done. Keep trying for more decals. Yeah. You bet. Ready? Go. There's like a rhythm to it. You know, beer cake is probably one of them. Ah. Just five more. Congratulations, you won. <clears throat> Would you like to keep playing? Uh, you bet. You bet. Ready? Go. Right. Would you like to quit the driving challenge? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, give me the ball, give me the ball. You want a decal. So, so we've gotten two, you got three, a decal. four. I think there's one more. Hmm. Anyone, anyone remember, remember what it was? Oh, so we got the, uh, the weird thing, the, the ball. The uh, beer keg, and then we gotta. Oh no, that's gonna be everything then, right? Oh no, but it... wouldn't it boot me out if I got everything? Satellite dish? Is it a satellite dish? I don't know if I've seen that one. Is 
Was it on the right side? Ooh, I'll keep an eye out for it. We just run over the zombies now. Can... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is, yeah. New decal applied. There we go. Got it. Congratulations! You've earned every decal we have! Pretzels are salty. Just look That's at true. what we've added Whoa, to your sweet, sweet look at that. My self-esteem has never been higher. Damn. Kara's looking schmancy. I weep nightly for our little lost gumballs. <laughs> Underground music. Sometimes at night I can hear it coming out of the toilet. <laughs> the eye eye. I love that commercial. Arr, lad. Tell me what is the finest in replacement optics. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, go ahead and tell me. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Arr. Aye, aye, Captain. I just remembered I hate that commercial. <laughs> the interactive domino museum is still open? I thought it fell over last year. Oh, no. It did, but they just keep putting it up again. Well, then. Well, let's get driving, I guess. Where are we headed, Sam? Uh, let's go to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Yavor! Wonderful. Oh! Stuttgart in all its glory. Well, here we are in Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and staring oh, at? I, I love this episode. Hey, look! There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. I just love the setting of this. Oh, actually, let's just go to the, uh, the entrance since uh, we'll be meeting a character who we, uh, you may recognize. Welcome. Of the night to the zombie fact. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Superball! <laughs> what are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. We're here on official freelance police business, Superball. <laughs> <laughs> Let us in! Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. We really need to get in. The line won't move any faster if you keep interrupting me, sir. The line's not moving at all, Superball. <laughs> I don't see your point, sir. <laughs> Maybe a few uh, Washingtons will help speed up the line. Or even a Lincoln? I hope you're not trying to bribe me, sir. Let us in. You'll have to wait in line. The master insists. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen. The greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president. This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. <laughs> he does have a point. <laughs> what is this place, anyway? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of Baden-Württemberg. Super Bowl. Uh. We'll be back. Take your time. We're very crowded tonight. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. Mm. For that extra stink of sophistication. Delicious. A coffin that's been opened from the inside. Wait, you mean zombies? Indeed. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. Anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat undertakers and opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brain's in decent shape, though. No? Oh. Ah, yes, the brain. Here lies someone important. And tall. And anorexic from the looks of it. I remember what to do with this brain. Gotta put it on this gargoyle to shorten the line a bit. The zombies look brains. Something smells good. 
I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. <laughs> Next. That'd be us. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. You'll have to throw them away. Ah, okay. Yes, you can't take those in. Let us in. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting <laughs> for you. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Even the fish are like... Skeletal fish moving about, it's great. Do I smell no blob? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Oh, look at me. I'm so edgy and subversive. Only Herr Fezzerly is truly acquainted with the darkness. <laughs> so what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. <laughs> and this is my army of the undead. With every soul I take, my army grows larger. <laughs> oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am away to dance. I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. <laughs> God. Thank you for the follow, Yeet the Cheese. Uh, much appreciate. Uh, let's have a chat with, uh, dear old Jürgen. Excuse us, Mr. Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? You can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. The style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. So, style. are big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Ja, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. <laughs> I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. <laughs> what was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. I, I love that the, there's like that running gag of New Location Unlocked in this episode. <laughs> Where someone just says New Location Unlocked whenever you can find a new area to go. And they just kind of address it like, what? What was that about? Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people <clears throat> recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! <clears throat> See that? That is power, my American friends. Wow. You call that dancing? If my sciatica weren't acting up, I'd show you some real dancing. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are, Jurgen. The sight of Sam trying to dance. Oh, the horror. 
Your empty threats bore me. Now, be gone, so my zombie posse and I can rock this house party to the break of dawn. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. Would you like to prove it? Oh, the rap battle. Oh, Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. <laughs> oh, Let's do it. it's on. Oh, very well, but I always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam, being all Euro freaky. Don't let him psych you out, little buddy. Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um... <laughs> uh, Count Cripwind Deathgrasp. Count Cripwind Deathgrasp. And I'm... Ooh, that's a strobe uh, light. Um... MC Lagomorph! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance... I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off that strobe light. It's actually kind of annoying. Uh... Brave robbers and we we're go. ready to go, see? <laughs> My god. Uh, obviously, you have to go for, like, very gothy, dark lyrics here, and... Bela Lugosi was the actor who played Dracula in the, uh, in the original movie, so... We'll knock you out deader than Bela Lugosi! We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow! Our world is endless, torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Um. Cause all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Peace out. <laughs> Pathetic. You have all the street cred of white thirty-year-old video game programmers. Ouch. Now Ow. take a listen to how far it is done. I can't remember the, the full thing, but we can't do it right now anyway, so. Bleeding wounds, self-inflicted. Baleful morning hackatay. Witch Queen Nurse has no antiseptic. Bandages cover scabs of despair. Yay! Yay! Also, when, yeah, whenever you stop on the dance floor, you, you actually dance. <laughs> hey, Baker does. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death. To return to her velvet sepulchre, her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. So, death, sepulchre. What is it? My dark mistress wants to Death, sepulchre, to embrace, her letters. Okay. Well, this is, this is important because uh, the last words in those could can mean something. If you go to the DJ Ready booth. To drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. <laughs> Misery. We've got to find out what all these buttons do. Embrace. Letters. Razors. Abyss. Sepulchre. It's a great word. Torment. Sub Zero. <laughs> Sub Zero. Pure energy. Pain. Succubus. Blood. Death. Desire. Okay. So we need. What was it? There's letters and em embrace. Sepulchre. Death? Death? Death. Sepulchre. Embrace. 
razors. That's razors, whoops. What was it? What was the order of it? And also, I will wear the scarf, yes. Thank you for that, uh, Omega. It's been years since I've seen this game, but I remember it being like my favorite. This was a great episode. <clears throat> my dark mistress Death, longs sepulcher, to embrace letters. Oh, okay. Death, sepulcher, embrace letters. That's it. I always remember one of the lighter solutions for this one. Death. Yeah. Sepulchre. Embrace. And letters. Letters. Uh -huh. Look, Max. Jeez, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. Get up here. I can't see a thing. Is that your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. We have no reason to be up here yet, actually, but, you know, it's, it's a thing. It's the spotlight for the zombie stands for. Mind the swinging razor-sharp pendulum. What razor-sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed <laughs> to redecorate? Can you make silly hand gestures in the spotlight? I don't think so. Um... There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. Hmm, so there's that something doesn't even rhyme. Something important here, but we need to, uh... It's, it's worn down, so we can't interact with it. Hmm, and I don't believe we can do that here, either. A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. Oh my god, I never noticed these guys just sat here before. Ooh, ooh. That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. Very, very good. Very good, fellas. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can really a do here. haunted disco ball. Disco will never die. Tis, tis a Resident Evil reference. And that's not the only one in this episode. It's another, it's another really good one. Um, that you will instantly know when you see it. Um, I don't think there's anything we can really do here right now. Essentially, we need to prove that, uh, uh, you know, that Jürgen's not cool, but we need to get some stuff first. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. And we'll take these with us. So there's one thing that we learned here, and that's that uh, in um, in Stuttgart, everybody loves Midtown leaving, Cowboys. Um, they 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 love it. Midtown Cowboys is their favorite thing. So uh, let's go to the WARP studio. Let's find out more about that. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, they use the same establishing shot from uh, the Season 1 remaster as well. Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene 4, take 1 in 5, 4... Hang on. Ah, I can't work like this! Actors. Oh, fine, take 5, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. So we're back here. Look, Max, it's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly! The name is Featherly! I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Is that a reference to this time as virtual, the Aquabass thing? thing? Hardly. Oh. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. Huh. What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life. 
That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta. <laughs> she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, mm, that's we need to do I well. may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. <laughs> What's the secret to a great performance? The true art of theater is all about improvisation. Hmm. Uh, an oral surgeon from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, missy, looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre, and scene. Do you understand? A great actor must be ever prepared for any eventuality. Yeah, that's how it works. Do you have any more acting tips for us? It's hardly complicated. Just follow my lead and don't touch anything. Sounds like Sam's prom night. Break a leg. Or worse. What's in the bag? Must be a prop in the episode. All right, let's get filming. Why not? Let's see what happens. What's going on here exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get <laughs> my anymore. phone messages? <laughs> the implication you that Max knows what it was originally. a surprise hit in Great. Germany. <clears throat> What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's intervention episode. Sounds hilarious. This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right, social issues, whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. <laughs> What's our motivation? Your motivation is to not get fired. Just good read motivation. your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. He's the one who's selling the t-shirts and soundtrack CDs. How do we get in on all this licensing money? You don't. You signed away all your rights to your image when you filmed the Chef Bessie episode. Oh. I don't remember signing anything. So that's what all that fine print said. Besides, I don't <laughs> see you two as TV stars. Start smaller, like with comic books or video games. <laughs> they did have a TV show. What happened to all the other shows in this studio? I want to go on cooking without looking again. They've all been canceled. The entire studio is devoted to Midtown Cowboys and its spin-offs now. There are spin-offs of Midtown Cowboys? Naturally, Downtown Cowgirls, That's So Bessie, Midtown Cowboys Special Heifers Unit, and of course, the sensitive and heartbreaking Midtown Shepherds. I wish I knew how to quit watching that. <laughs> We're ready to start filming. It's about time! All right, people, places, everyone! Let's make some money! Art! Let's make some art! Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Dramatic. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Oh my god. Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly. Stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Oh, God.
Gutsmack brand malt liquor? We see you drinking it all the time. All right. I admit it. I am addicted. Oh, how could I not be? It's got the smooth hickory age taste that makes every night a special night. It sounds delicious. Let's go buy some right now. <laughs> Boys, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> right, about that. Looks like you'll need to buy three bottles of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. Cows love it too. This is so shameless. <laughs> Let's get like Mickey Mouse. Cut. As the yeah, great Lee point. Strasberg once said, Cha Ching. Hey, really sold out. So, just, uh, I mean, we could solve the puzzle right now, but I, I just want to, like, show, uh, essentially what this means. Already? Let's go back to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. <clears throat> An episode about, episode about liquor addiction that is actually product placement, Glorious. Yeah, it's, it's... I, not entirely, uh... <laughs> outside the, the realms of fiction. I could imagine someone possibly doing that. <laughs> the state of the world we live in. Sorry, sir. You'll have to oh, leave yeah. in garlic cloves, holy water. I know, I know, I know. Funny fact. So, yeah, that's right. All the zombies love the vampire who drinks old gut smack. No. no. Well, there goes our all ages rating. <laughs> I think we lost that a while ago, Max. When they want to pour out a 40 for the undead who cannot be meet us tonight. Yeah. Alright. So you might have, like, had a, a little bit of a realization there. Anything that's seen as cool in Germany is something that Jürgen wants to prove. Uh, like, to his, uh, his followers. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. What if it was something that was unhealthy to him? For instance, something that has garlic in it. Let's do it again. We're not leaving, are we? God, look at all the decals we have. It's getting cluttered back there. Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! It's a very precarious ledge. So now we have the malt liquor. It's a bottle of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. How are the ratings for the last episode? Through the roof! Everybody who's anybody in Germany is watching the show. I can finally release a set of limited edition Spaten forks with my face on them. We want to film another episode of the show. Sure, why not? Repackage it as an alternate take. It'll be huge. All right, let's go, people. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic-flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good. Man, they're good for you. What a heart-smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. <laughs> and that's a wrap. See that, boys? That is acting. There we go. Cool German say yeah to garlic clove cigarettes. Hey! <laughs> Juliet, are you telling everyone to call me a bitch? Oh my god. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's true. I am a bitch. Uh, how are you? How is your Dark Souls? It, it was Dark Souls, right? You doing some Dark Souls? Uh, Let's go to Stuttgart. <laughs> yeah. 
you lost all your saves? Oh no! Oh, oh that sucks. Whee! Mmm, yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. <laughs> Smooth. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? <laughs> Alright. That's one thing we've, uh. We've handled. I mean, it is a little bit of a gay club. You're right, yeah, man. Actually, just European. But... <laughs> yeah, he forgot he was uh, a little to We're garlic, leaving, but him being cool is more important uh, than uh, than his own health. So uh, let's go home. Yeah, let's head back home. We want to go to Sybil's now. I think there's some stuff there, but we, want. we haven't actually spoken to Sybil yet either. Cause she's uh she's looking for for suitors at the moment. It's actually the first time you get to enter Sybils in this uh Take an amber and I'll be with you. This season. Oh, hi Sam and Max. I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh let's just be friends. Sure. What happened to Abe? I'm sure I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Harry. Tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting things about me. Oh dear. <laughs> Strange. A freak mishap has defaced every single one of these Lincoln photos. What gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? Not quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. <laughs> Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soulmate. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along. That's for no sure. No problem that, but thanks for coming I've along. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous Take interviews, him. and finally, the soulmater. I want it! What does the soulmater do? Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die. Sounds like a very real possibility. <laughs> sure you don't need help with that soulmate or Sybil? If you're not married by now, there's not much time left. There's plenty of time. I still have a lot of data to analyze while I figure out how the soulmate or works. Have you had a lot of applicants? A few. If you know anybody, anybody else, of course, send them my way. A lot of these guys have no chance, but I'm still interviewing them to be polite. Speaking of which, what kind of movies do you like, Harry? No, I don't go to the movies that much because of my astigmatism. Don't you want to give Abe another chance? Abe who? You were telling me more about yourself, Harry. I was detailing my various prescriptions and inhalers, if I remember correctly. That's well, it's important to know. How can you afford to keep your shop, Sybil, when you don't have a new job? I'm still getting residuals from when I was Queen of Canada. The new location is a lot better for me. Not as nice as Edmonton, with its temperate summers and outstanding cost of living, but I get by. Oh, royalties! I get it! <laughs> Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Zombies? Where? Hmm. Irrational fear of zombies. <laughs> Interesting. 
But yes, I did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe into the whole equal rights for the undead thing. Can't remember where exactly. Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies can't get in. Get in? There are zombies right outside? I'm not going to lock my door. This is a public place, and they have the right to peacefully assemble just like anyone else. Well, good luck finding your soulmate. This yeah, has nothing to do with luck, Sam. It's all about psychology and technology. Sure. It's Sybil's soul mater. Right. I'm going to need that, so don't touch it. Hey, Harry. Harry Molman. Last time we saw you, you were... Yeah, yeah, on the moon. What's all this I keep hearing about zombie attacks? They're everywhere. You boys have guns, right? Are we just not getting through to these people? Yeah, we're really not that complicated, Harry. How are things going with you and Sybil? Oh, she's playing hard to get. But women have a hard time resisting my charms. Is that so? <laughs> oh, she'll grow to love me. <laughs> yes, she will. Don't think so. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Harry, but Sybil's not that into you. She's more into the whole hard rock scene. Just wait till she gets a load of my oboe. Was that clumsy innuendo or a pathetic attempt to sound cool? <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh, God. Do you really think you have a chance with Sybil? I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Zombies don't make things. They break them. No, it's a factory that makes zombies. Inconceivable! That's like making hate and evil and awfulness. So you're saying you don't like zombies? What have you got against zombies? Disgusting creatures. They're always breaking things. Zombies are why we can't have nice things. Yeah, I mean, this guy was the villain in episode three of the previous season, so... Wait, the reason you don't like zombies is that they break things? Yes! Stupid, clumsy undead. And that bothers you more than the brain-eating? They're hell on knickknacks. <laughs> Are you still into prismatology? Oh, no. Between the four of us, I wasn't that into it in the first place. You just relocated to the moon for it. Well, think how great Docent looks on a resume. What are you doing for work these days? Well, I'm hoping the stipend from this job holds me over. Sybil's paying men to be her suitor? Of course not, but they don't know that. <laughs> See you later, Harry. Zombie! Ah! Apparently, Sybil's suitors have never heard, can't buy me love. Hey, nice chocolate heart. Yes, it's a sweet gift for the sweetest girl who would return my calls. How romantic. Hmm. I don't think she's picking up, picking up what you're putting down, buddy. I, I'm, I'm afraid, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Let's leave. <laughs> um, what are we doing? And what do we need to do? Okay, we need to make uh, Jürgen less cool. That's what we need to do. Um, I'm trying to remember what, what the things we need. I think we need a... How do you say we need a sun lamp? I don't know where we can get one of those. Unless it's at Stinkies. And we haven't looked at Stinkies yet, have we? She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? All right. Ooh, sticky goo. What's this sticky black goo? That's my gooey molasses tar cake. Mm. It's a recipe handed down through my family for centuries. Delicious. All the way back from the primordial ooze, from the looks of it. <clears throat> Zombies giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. Oh, no. They're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He 
keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like, from beyond the grave? What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around-the-world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies. Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. Oh, yeah, of course. They ended up making him their god, and now they're following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. <laughs> that was pretty nice of Grandpa Stinky to leave his entire restaurant empire to you. <laughs> Some empire. Zombies, deadbeat ex-presidents, trivia cheaters. Makes me wonder if it was worth the effort. If what was worth the effort? Oh, nothing. What's with a sunlamp, woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. Mm, it's true. Can we have your sun lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Hmm? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. We'd like to order something. Well, what can we order this Supplies time? Supplies are low because of the zombie attack, so uh, we're probably out. You do realize that's not going to stop us, right? Go ahead. The special. Ah, my special gooey molasses tar cake. It's an ancient family recipe. Ancient? You've heard of the La Brea tar pits, of course. But have you ever tasted them? Sold. I'll take two slices. Sorry. I used up the blowtorch on some zombies who didn't tip. It's impossible to cut. You're welcome to look at it, though. Just don't touch. Enchiladas. Crab and salamander enchiladas in green sauce. Mm. Sal, I want Lou Dobbs and Greta Van Susteren doing double dutch on the back of a rogue elephant. Tuna noodle casserole with onion rings. Get me one Rudy Giuliani with no pants wow. and sequined garters. And a tuna noodle casserole with onion rings. Okay. Seared grouper in a maple syrup reduction with bacon wrapped dates and toffee chips. Served on a bed of Venezuelan newspaper clippings. Sal, number three. <laughs> Chicken chow mein with chocolate covered raisins and a caramel swirl. Sal, give me a hyperactive spider monkey and a powder blue cardigan, and why don't we go ahead and wrestle him to the ground and tickle him till he pees? I have got to see what goes on in this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for us, thanks. Bye. All right. Want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. Um tell you what, we'll we'll uh we'll we'll get this over to uh to Jurgen and then we'll uh I think we'll wrap up for the day because we've hit the three hour mark. I think binging with Barry's gonna recreate the recipe in this game. That would certainly be uh a challenge, I can I can tell you that. Um Let's go to Stuttgart. The whole, I think that the whole joke with Stinky is there's nothing really edible on the menu. I mean, the last uh, episode has, had us uh, tossing around granite and basalt sandwiches. Okay. It's the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Yeah. He's got the cigarette like in his fingers. Great. Right. Ugh, smells like musty cobwebs and half digested corn dogs in here. I had nothing to do with the cobwebs. <laughs> All right. Sun lamp. It does like a little thing around the uh, center. 
It doesn't necessarily touch here again. Whee! Okay. I think that, that happens with the um, later on anyway. Let's save the game. Save the game. Okay. Yeah, we're saved. Okay. Let's go on to... Um, that's going to be it for today's uh, Seven Max Sprint Time and Space. We'll be continuing uh, this on Tuesday, so you won't have to wait as long for this next uh, next leg of the game. Um, that's going to be uh, very exciting. We'll be finishing off Night of the Reving Dead and likely starting uh, Episode 4, which is my favourite episode. Um, so that's going to be absolutely wonderful. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, send you all off on a uh, on a raid somewhere. Where should we send you today? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna send you over to. Um, uh, raid oceans. My, my uh, who is playing some TF2? Oceans blue FTW. Thank you all for coming along tonight. Uh. uh I don't know if there's a raid phrase I want to use. Just say something like scarf raid. <laughs> um, but yeah, say hi to Oceans for me and uh, take care of yourself, everybody. It's been a wonderful stream. Good night.